think we are ready to go. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gozi and today we're going to be watching another video about Natty Day Fiance called He Spent 30k just to be cheated on and lied to. So yeah, let's watch this. Let's go. How much money have you spent on her in a year and a half? I don't know, Ma. Some grams. How many grams? 20, 30, I guess. Wow. Ah, love is in the air. It's just gonna cost you twenty or thirty thousand dollars. We've already talked about the trifecta of simpage, and let's be honest, no one's ever going to top David. But Deontay is a worthy addition to the club. I don't know, ma. Some grands. I don't know. Jesus some grands. Christ. Twenty, thirty, forty. It, you can't put a price on love. I don't even keep track of it. What you don't understand, mom, is if I keep giving her stuff and giving her money, there is a very small chance that she will sleep with me. And if that's what it takes to be in love, then that's what it takes. Wow. On what? When she has been incarcerated the whole time you on what oh my god commissary and stuff huh i like this little hand gesture he does as if that was a ridiculous question what do you think she spent the money on jeez she needed it it was for cigarettes and ramen noodles that's a high price for love that's all i can tell you very high, high price, high price. Yeah, his Jesus. mother pretty much just tells it to him straight. And the crazy thing about this is he's already been through this before with someone else oh and spent like God. 20 or 30 grand on them as well. This girl just wants to use you, okay? She told you that she went on that inmate line looking for someone to take them for their money. So yeah, this girl Nicole he's talking to straight up admitted to him that she went on that website in the first place just to find people to send money to oh him. She also God, says money. that she didn't develop feelings for him until six months after they oh, started talking, meaning okay. that she saw him only as a source of money for a long time and admitted it to him. And she said she wasn't expecting to find a relationship. She said I was one in a million. She told you everything She's you not buying to it. Hear what? Was. She said you were one in a million? Dude, you should totally send her like $30,000. Yeah. When I first started talking to you and you sent me some money, I was like, wow, this guy's one in a thousand. And then you sent me 30 grand and I was like, you're one in a million. What's up? My name is Deontay. I'm in a relationship with this beautiful blonde. I can't stand materialistic people. I can't stand shallow people. Oh, perfect. It sounds like you picked the right person. Babe, I'm so glad I have you. I just cannot stand people that are shallow and materialistic. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not like that. Anyway, here's $500. Oh, oh, remember, God. I wouldn't be giving you this money if I thought you were materialistic. I also wouldn't be buying all of these things for you if I thought you were materialistic. What up, boy? What? what? Derek is my best friend. I've known that man for 27 years. Oh, you really bought her Michael Kors? Oh, she no. Damn and she's materialistic. Yes, Come on, man. Materialistic How is it even possible to simultaneously hold those two thoughts? You're saying you can't stand materialistic people, yeah. and then your friend asks, "Why are you buying her all this stuff?" And you said, "Because that's what she wanted," oh which means that she's you're lying to yourself. You know what? This is one of those guys that is you that can yourself? never explain this to. He's never going to see it any other way. Yep. He's gonna have to learn for himself once she completely screws him over. I like Deontay's friend here because he knows exactly what's going on, and he comes over just to laugh at the whole situation. So. Right. You talked to her for a year and a half. She just deserves a thousand dollars walking out of prison. I'm on Hell yeah. I don't think this dude's smile has gone away at any point during this entire show so far. No matter what the situation is or what mood he's in, even if he gets angry, he still has this smile on his face. I want my family or friends to just understand and not just straight judge based off the fact that this woman is an enemy. He also barely opens his mouth. Brother, they are not judging her because she's an inmate they are judging her because she's clearly using you as a bank account that's it it's not because she's, she's in prison bro trust me when he speaks that's someone it. in the comments of one of these videos pointed out that he would be a great ventriloquist in fact maybe that's why he's able to afford to give maybe. her so much money maybe he's living the lavish ventriloquist yeah, lifestyle yeah, yeah. my little sex what the fuck? toy or torso that i got whatever you want to call it i've actually named her nicole jr oh god what is happening now <laughs> dude what are, you, what are you doing i don't want to call it anything what are you nicole jr is she supposed to be flattered by that and not completely disturbed let me get you all cleaned off how are you gonna do she's that so oh, she's oh, never been dude. Guy, Come on. So. Oh. Ah, yes, we have reached that wonderful moment where they meet for the first time in person oh and then they can God, be happy for about so five cringy, minutes man. before all hell breaks loose. The honeymoon period for relationships on this show typically lasts about 15 minutes. Yes, sir. She's very attractive. 
Whoa. All she sees is a giant dollar sign yeah. walking over to her. And you can immediately tell that she's not interested in him at all. She'll barely even look him in the eyes. Oh, <laughs> oh my oh, god. Baby. Oh my god. I want this stuff in my hand. Oh. Oh. All right, I hope that was worth $30,000 because that's pretty much all you're going to get. And I'm not even kidding. I could probably bet my life that this relationship is not going to work out and still sleep fine without yeah, a care in the world. Same life. When I walked out of the prison and I saw Deontay waiting for me, it was the best feeling ever. It's my heart right here. Straight up. I'd be pretty excited too if I was about to get $1,000 and a bunch of free shit. So, Imagine walking out of prison with $1,000 right away. I am going to stay at your house tonight. Me on that. Oh. Alright, so right away she says that she doesn't want to stay at his place, even though they already talked about that being the plan. And the most action that this poor dude is gonna get is this glance over at her as she's taking her sweatshirt off. I know that you want me to, but I just feel like... <sighs> I don't want to say you have to. I just haven't seen my mom in a really long time. I also haven't seen my ex-boyfriend <laughs> in a while, so I figured this would be a good opportunity so to talk gosh. to him. I had planned on seeing my mom and then going to his place. But now that I'm out, my anxiety is so bad. Even being hugged is kind of making me feel uncomfortable. Oh, wow. Oh. That is so convenient. I was just wondering how she was going to find a way okay. not to sleep with him or touch him or get near him. Now, this is obviously a real thing for a lot of people, but it's total BS with her. No doubt in my mind. Oh, my gosh. This is my mom's house. Sorry. So we're going to go meet her and everything. Um, I think I'm just gonna go in here by myself. So, well, hold on, what now? Yeah, listen, you're great and everything, and I appreciate all the money, but I don't like you. So, there's really no reason for you to meet my mother because you don't really do mean very How do you not see the amount of red flags? Like, I, 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 mean, I don't know what to say. Oh my god, man. You are the king of simps, love. I know, man, I know, I get it. She's attractive, but come on, man. Pretty oh. much me. But at the same time, all that money stuff, that's cool. That's really cool. You should keep that up. I gotta I gotta be cool. It's the first day out. But at the same time, you know, I did not expect to be sleeping in my bed alone. Alone? Probably, Dude, what about Nicole yeah, Jr.? You should really tell her about Jr. that, and she'll definitely want to come over. So Nicole goes into her mother's house alone, and then whips out her phone that Deontay bought for her, and then starts to text her ex-boyfriend. Oh just God. because I'm in love with him doesn't mean I don't want to talk to anybody else anymore. I literally just got out of prison. I'm not married. Like, I have a lot of life to live in. You may not be married, but Deontay thinks you two are engaged. Yeah, Can you mommy. imagine accepting 30 grand from someone and then lying to them and screwing them over this badly? I mean, she wasted no time. She was texting her ex like less than an hour after getting out of prison. Hey, babe. What's up, babe? Kind of felt some type of way about last night. Oh, what? I didn't want to stay with you. Wow, she really looks like she cares about what he's saying. Listen, dude, you hooked me up with this phone and, and you expect me not to use it and not to text my ex-boyfriend? That's on you, you know? The respect you got for me as a man, the respect you got for our relationship, and it's just gonna be what it is, and I just keep it in the back of my mind. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I'm not finna argue with you today and be in a bad mood. Listen, this relationship works a lot better if you just drive this me around, so buy me stuff, and then just leave me alone. I feel like it's way too soon for him to be trying to have sex with me like you don't even know my favorite color you oh yes you know of color. course of man course that's, that's the, the secret right there you, you gotta figure out her favorite color yeah. first no wonder this has been going wrong her ex-boyfriend now he knows her favorite color so right now he's they're going to get her hair done which he's paying for obviously and as that's happening he's gonna go buy her a bunch of stuff in another store mr beast calls himself the human atm yeah. He doesn't have shit on this guy. This girl, Nicole, has pretty much created her own human ATM, and now she's just trying to perfect her craft. Deontay's out buying me a new dress right now. Is he? He bought me a bunch of gifts, too. He bought me two Michael Kors watches, three pairs of Jordans. Uh, Barbie does Barbie not care. Barbie has time maintenance. <laughs> I can't stand materialistic it's people. such a clown, dude. you think of Deontay as like a person, though? Like, what are what do you like about him? Wait, I don't understand. Were you not listening? He gives me yeah. stuff. So people, when they get together in relationships, typically like things about each other. What do you like about Deontay? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Tough question. Hmm. Uh, uh, I, can't stand, I, can't stand, 
I like the fact that he can't stand shallow or materialistic people. He has no tolerance yeah. for that. Like, what do you think he wants in return? I mean, I know what he wants in return, <laughs> but he's not going to get it. God, she makes this guy look so bad on this show. This is really embarrassing. I, I gotta, I might have to end this. Please I was like this very video, committed bro. to Deontay, but like right before I got out, I did end up like sleeping with a girl. Oh. But okay. I don't feel like girls is cheating because I don't know. I just don't feel. Women like think all right. Even if that were true, you're yeah. still talking to your ex boyfriend. So I don't know how you could say you're above cheating or that you're not cheating. It's finally time for some romance. Let's see if Deontay can get his money. Come on, Deontay. I will try one on, but you can look, but you cannot touch. Oh, don't tease me like that. But I don't have to try At least one you can. Oh man, this is brutal. She did that with such anger and aggression. Yeah. She is completely disgusted she by this guy. So then she dances for him and makes him boy. sit on his own hands so that he won't be tempted. Now, obviously, David is still the king, but at this point, I would put Deontay right behind him, which means Sean has now been bumped out of the trifecta of simpage. But trifecta it ain't over yet simpage, because he's bro. actually in another season check coming up, too, so we'll yeah. see what happens there. So in this clip, they all go out to eat and Deontay invites his friend and Nicole invites her friend from prison. Then she decides it would be a good idea to invite her ex-girlfriend as oh. well. Why not? Who are you looking for? Sure. Nobody. Nobody. Who, who is nobody? Freaking. My friend might come tonight. Oh, so now he's your friend. Her name's Tia. I just have to say again, this oh. dude is awesome because he knows he exactly awesome. what is going on and he completely tears this entire thing apart. Have you slept with her? Oh my god. Exposing her. Expose her, brother. You need to answer that damn question. All he had to do was ask one question to completely throw her off. One question that Deontay never bothered to ask. It makes sense to say like three or four times, yeah. but she said like one like, time, which clearly means it was time? more than that, because yeah. you'd remember if it was only one time. But I can't even touch the <laughs> Dude, don't you remember? She has anxiety about you can touching tell that you. Again, How many times did you do the nasty in prison? You want to know the truth? Yes, please. All right, hold on. Oh, that many times. Oh, she got to multiply. Times two. Brother, you're Every down time. bad. I don't even have anything to add. This guy is, is hilarious. He they should have incredible. this guy talk to every single couple on this show. Six. Six. Wow, six. wow and that I was it keeps dating. going up. Six, and I was dating was four of them. Every day, all day. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, back up, back up. Okay. Did you hear that? She wants you now. She said she was dating four of them. Yes, I did hear it, and now if you'll excuse me, I think I'm just gonna melt into the floor and disappear. So literally right after this conversation, she steps outside to call her ex-girlfriend. Yo, who the f*** you talking to? Did he just spawn next to her? <laughs> it's like a mob spawner in Minecraft, bro. What do you mean I'm talking to my friend? Embarrass me in front of my boy. Wow, he's finally standing up for himself. Stand up for it's yourself, a little too laugh, late, but it's good that he's finally doing it. So she is clearly very manipulative and is gaslighting him on this whole situation, acting like, what are you talking about? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Why is it so hard for you to spend one night with me? That makes me uncomfortable. But you ain't uncomfortable with me spending my <gasps> you, money on You fucking tell him, what? You tell him? You fucking tell him? You know what I to I'm tell her again. Oh shit. You two are supposed to be in love and she's uncomfortable to spend a night with you. Uh, now if there was some sort of experience or reason on, as to why she felt that way, it would make sense. But clearly she's saying that only with you. Alright, so the next clip we're gonna look at is when he finally meets her mother. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey. I like how he just appears there, staring blankly. Come in. This is okay. Hello. Where did he come from? How are you, sir? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, fine. Why is so weird? Uh, yeah, I don't know why he came in that way and was just staring without breaking eye contact at all. Yeah, I am oh my God. nervous as all hell. <laughs> She's got that oh, it's so weird stare where she stares into your eyes. Look like you were the one staring. Yeah, I don't know, maybe she was staring too. I don't. You guys are all just staring at each other, and Nicole's over there staring at the phone that Deontay paid for. Don't talk about me. Well, first off, I know it's kind of weird how I uh, how I met Nicole. Um, who goes online? This is so weird. Below, right? Wow, you're making a really good pitch for yourself mm -hmm. right there. I love Nicole, and um, I don't know if she told you, but we're we're engaged. 
She didn't tell her because Whoa. apparently Nicole didn't even know they were engaged. Now, she could be lying, but I could also see how Deontay would think they were engaged based on some sort of misunderstanding. Oh, gosh, she didn't tell you. Y'all are engaged. Well, if by engaged you mean I give her money and then she talks to other if people that's behind engaged, my bag, then, yeah. then yes. Alright, so the next clip we're going to look at, Deontay and Nicole get into a huge argument about, well, you will see. What's that? My boob appointments. I got the price sheet right here. Don't act mad because you literally know that boobs are thousands of dollars. Oh boy, no. here we go again. She won't even touch you, yet she wants you to buy her fake boobs so other people can touch them. Please, Deontay, I'm losing my sanity here. We've talked about this before. This is actually really cheap, $6,000. Cause guess what? I thought it was gonna be eight. So I was like, ooh, this is good. Oh baby, that's a lot of money. Hey babe, why don't you use some of that 30 grand that I sent you to pay for it? Oh, you didn't save any of it? You spent it all in prison? Oh, that's okay. I totally understand. Ramen noodles can get expensive. Yeah, man. But you said you were going to pay it. Curry ramen noodles, you, but... but you literally, like, I'm irritated because you just got me so excited and you don't even have the money to pay for it. I don't have any money Neither because I sent it all to you. Why don't you pay for it? I don't, I don't have shit anymore. You took everything. It's just me and Nicole oh, Jr. Stop now. I'm saying that you're bro. Ass, bro. Or not pay my rent. I will figure it out. You would not pay your uh, bills to pay for my boob job? That's what it takes to keep you satisfied, baby, I guess. I've seen goldfish with more freaking IQ. Brother, how? Listen to what he just said. She said, would you not, would you not pay your bills to pay for my boob job? And he's like, yeah, I guess if it makes you happy. What do you mean, bro? And it's sad. That makes me a little happy. Think about this for a second. I can't Please. Stop. She's saying it makes her happy to know that you won't be able to pay rent because you're giving her money. She is happy if you are miserable and unable to pay your bills as long as she's getting what she wants. You know what? <laughs> Tia's birthday, I forgot. Ugh. I need to call her and tell her happy birthday. Oh, here we go again with the ex-girlfriend. Tia. Yeah. The same one you used to date. You just still communicate with this person. I mean, she's my friend, Deontay. I wouldn't do like that. Listen, if you ever want to see my fake boobs that you're going to buy for me, then you better be nice. I'm trying He's to come take care of you. Watch, <laughs> but if I was in there talking to my ex, it'll be a problem. I don't want to meet his mom. Come get me. So now she's in the other room using the phone that he paid for, calling her ex to come pick her up. Oh no, she's found Nicole Jr. Oh, oh my no. god. Did I just hear her say what? She has been looking for a reason to get angry with him or to break it off with him, and she has just found it. She's supposed to be meeting his mother tonight, by the way, too. Oh, no. oh, look over here, it's underneath the bed. When I was in prison, Deontay told me that he had a sex toy. Oh, the thought of him this thing just. It, it creeps me out. All right, maybe the uncomfortable thing wasn't bullshit after yeah. all. He's sitting here in my house making a joke out of me. So bitch, you Were you sitting in here? I heard all that. What I, I say? want you to come Please get me. I want you to come get me. You are tripping. I didn't say come and get me. I asked yeah. her to come and oh, get me. I asked her to come and get me. I don't want to be here. I heard what you said. Yeah, because I just found that dumbass sex. Oh, that. Oh, that. You you trying to doll is freaking me out. Back. Really know what to say anymore well first off she said that she wanted to leave before she even found that yeah. thing so that's that's just a lie right there secondly dude that is the creepiest shit ever don't do yeah, that. especially don't tell her about it and don't name it after her yeah. and especially don't tell her mother about it which actually Deontay, what? okay I, I defended you bro I take back everything that I said. You are just weird. Why in God's good name would you tell her mom you have a sex toy and you call her Nicole Jr.? happened but i did not have a clip of it so in this final clip we're going to look at here deontay drops her off at her mother's house as usual but he notices that she sat out on the front porch Good. on her phone which he found to be unusual he suspects that she's about to meet up with her ex so he parks down the street to spy on her and sure enough some dude shows up i guess he doesn't make her uncomfortable you know who i am bro nah, i'm, I'm a man dog i'm the 
she was just with five minutes ago. Tell him. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. My Shut heart's up. pounding. Shut up. I do have to give this guy some credit for standing up for Come himself, on. especially right in front of her ex. What's up, Nicole? I'll explain to you. You serious? His balls finally dropped. Like mama, bro. You know what I've been through. And you gonna do me like that? After all this I done did for you? You serious? Hey, babe, whenever you're done flipping out, can you give me some money? Because I think we're going to go pick up a bottle of wine for our date night. She went into prison, but we definitely kept in a communication, you know, throughout the whole time. Give me my mother cell phone. Give me the cell phone, Nicole. Oh, you don't want to give me the phone? Beck, keep the phone. I'm a deactivate bitch. So this seems like it should be the end for these two, but I almost guarantee that Deontay is going to go back to her. In the episode coming up, it showed him saying that he still thinks oh. that she's in love with him and that he's in love with her. I mean, I guess, I guess you can't stop true love. That's clearly what this is. I'm all right, well, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for stopping by oh, and watching oh. the video. I hope you enjoyed this I mess. I will hopefully see you for the next train wreck. Hopefully I'll see you next, boy. Bro, that was tough to watch, man. How can you be that desperate? How? Like, so I'm sorry about my trim, by the way. My trim is a mess, but it's, a, it's not as, as, as much of a mess as this video, though. Not the video, the people in the video. Good job by the by the brother that made the video. It's really good, man. It's really good. Like, you stand up for yourself. He did it at the restaurant when she says that she was involved with six women in prison. He does it there, but then continues to do the same dumb stuff. Then stands up for himself in front of her, her, uh, her ex-boyfriend and goes on and does the same thing. Oh, man, come on. Oh, this, this was tough to watch. Jesus Christ. Well, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Gonzi, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Goodbye.